Hello everybody and welcome to my video. Today we'll be looking at Lazara Summit Kingdom. This is early access, so if you guys want to go get it, go to Steam. Right now it is on sale, so please go get it. It's a great game uh, from everything I've seen. I've watched a streamer called Raptor play this game uh, just very briefly, but just from the praise that it got, uh, the similarities of Anno 1800, um, I'm already in love with it. So I've already done a few things. Uh, I've changed my graphics just to go with my resolution. Um, and I've also just brought a touch down the music. It is quite loud. Um, you, you can't really, you can't really, um, make even finer details it's either no music or or this right but then you could also do master which brings everything down right so maybe something uh to change here with music right but not a big deal um let's just bring this up just a tiny bit right all right, so let's get right into it. So we'll be playing a new game. Uh, oh, before that, let's actually talk about the early access roadmap. So from here, you can see uh, difficulty level customization, localization in new languages. So there's this roadmap, it's just, it's gonna show you how, the progress that the developers are gonna work towards this game and reach their end goal, right? So we do need to support these indie games, these uh, small developers. Uh, they make great games, you know, and for a price that you can all just like we can all just jump aboard. So, yeah, let's get started. Uh, there's no campaign uh, for the meantime until the full release. Uh, there's a free build challenge and standard. We're just going to go to standard. And yeah, let's just. This must be the tutorial, so let's just get to it. So balance, resources, deposit, available to import, this kind of, so dye. Okay, you could just hover over it. Salt, perfumes, gold, copper, butter lamps. Oh, wow, okay. Didn't even know about that. Uh, river is not present. Uh, avalanches, standard. So there are avalanches, yes, that's, Definitely of all the years in the long big. and storied Ooh, history of the kingdom of Lesara, this one surely has to be the worst. Following the harvest, a mysterious mist suddenly appeared all across the kingdom. Then the pandemonium started. Crops started to fail. Disoriented animals barely produced any milk. People started to get sick. And you can't see anything. The fog in this valley is even worse than the city. For all we know, we could be lost already. Faith, my friend, have faith. We're following the path that's been chosen for us. Path? I don't see any path. Just the same damn forest going on for days. It's not entirely the same. Look, there are more and more pines, and the thickets are thinning out. We are getting higher. We'll get to the upland shortly. Even if that's true, what will we find there? Mark my words, mountains are no place for humans. Yes, but they are a place of the spirits. We will settle at the foot of the mountain and make our way up to build a grand altar at the very summit. The spirits surely will recognize our efforts and help us to drive the mist away. And Lysara will be saved. Yeah, that's great and all, but did you see how low on supplies we are? Never mind building a temple, we'll die of hunger before even reaching the top. Come on, it won't be that bad. Look on the bright side. Mountains are above the mist, so we'll be able to cultivate crops and pasture our yaks again. Hmm, maybe. Until the first avalanche sweeps us all away. Stop worrying about minor details. We're on the most sacred quest, and nothing will stop us. Onwards!
yeah, so just from there, I can see that uh, hopefully with my Meteorker skills, um, I won't get everyone killed. So hopefully I won't uh, lose this tutorial. I don't think I've ever lost in a tutorial, but this could be a first. I'm not the great greatest at these games, but you never know, right? So let's just get started. Oh, beautiful. Finally, a place above the mist and with enough space to establish a small colony. It'll serve us as an outpost when we move on to bigger mountains. I guess it makes sense. We need to maintain contact with the capital in case they need to come and save us. <laughs> this guy, snarky comments. Nonsense. We'll achieve great things in these mountains and this small settlement will be our first step. This guy is very optimistic. Um, but I didn't like how he's like, oh, don't, let's not think about it, right? Let's just go and do it. I'm like, those are the people that I always question if, if I'm in a group of friends or, or they're like, oh, let's just do it. I'm like, I don't know if you thought this through. <laughs> so, yeah. Let's start by building a district for our workers. Again, I've only seen very small amounts of uh, this game. I haven't really been paying full attention, um, so hopefully I can get this uh, done pretty well. So, <laughs> yes. All right, let's see. WSAD, hold camera movement, mouse scroll, wheel hold. Oh, so we'll hold us this. Okay. Okay. Oh, and that's... Okay, default binding. Spacebar. Pause. Unpause. Great. One, two, three. Change game speed. First, let's place a food market. It'll be a central point of your settlement as it distributes food among citizens living nearby. Build a food market. All right the best place possible to get a daily dose of gossip and refreshment <laughs> i like that i feel like this game's gonna have a little little bit of jokes here here and there right okay so let's just put this uh right there right okay the essential point for your settlement so a road of course just like anno oh Click. Perfect. Let's fix that by building roads, yeah. And then hit continue. Build houses, increase the town's population. So let's place a few of them near the food market. All right, so just like Anno, like we need residents. We need huts. Uh, how many did they want? I have 32 lowlanders living within a range of food market. Okay, so... Let me leave some space there. How many does this hold? Four people? Okay. Oh, and then update up here. Okay, so let's just start doing that, huh? Let's just... I'll build a road, don't worry. This is my plan. It's always been my plan to do this. <laughs> All right, great. The very first settlers on the mountain. That's great. We should take care of their basic needs like shrines. They need to have spots where they can pray for the success of our mission. <laughs> yeah, yes, but also jobs, right? We need jobs. So hmm, I meant providing them with food. Oh, yes, and, and, and food. Yes, of course. I don't want my people to die. Uh, well, we can do that too, I guess. But but spiritually, <laughs> sp well, but spirituality comes first. Okay, this guy right here, he's one of those people that's like, hey, you know what? Praying will make me not hungry. You know, by praying that I'm full, I will be full. And you know, that's you're self hypnotizing yourself at that point. But um, I know that belief can be very powerful to people. So. Uh, citizens look to cherish their spirituality in spots like praying, praying place. 
praying place. That's what it's called. Okay. <laughs> praying place, as with many other buildings, has a range. That means it will only affect nearby buildings. Provide 32 lowlanders with access to praying place. All right. Let's click here. Praying place. Upkeep. Minus four. Construction cost. So it costs money for to maintain it and to build it. So, whew, I see. All right, so best for me to just do one. I should have made them all closer, you know? But, too late now. Whatever, it's just a tutorial, so. Uh, great, you have fulfilled in need of your citizens. To learn more about your folks' needs, let's bring up the Lowlanders hut menu. All right, let's click here. Unemployed, 24 workers, eight. Why am I playing? Let's pause it or else. I don't know if, if this is a tutorial, so they're probably gonna be very, uh, very uh, gentle with us, so. Okay, total 32. Okay, so click on Lowlanders hut. Yeah. The Sampa and eggs. Okay, so here you can see both already fulfilled needs and still demanded ones. Needs are divided into three categories, food, prosperity, and enlightenment. This bar shows how many and which category needs you must fulfill to make your citizens willing to upgrade their homes. Looks like the inhabitants would like to get some food. Indeed, so let's focus on that. Yes, I agree. 100% with getting them some food. Um, I already have a food market, so... Oh, okay. It's just telling me to click on that. All right. And then a wise man once said, the only surface smoother than an eggshell is a monk's head. Requires workforce three, lowlanders, upkeep four, construct... Yeah, but I'll get money from this, so... Um, let's just do this. Oh, it's like... Anno, warehouse. We need a warehouse. Chicken farm is now producing eggs, but as indicated by the icon, it's not sending them anywhere. To transport produce resources, hold LMB over chicken farm and point to food market. So, left mouse button. But the, don't I... That's it? You okay? Sure. Sure, that's nice. It's quick, easy. Let's increase the food uh, variety for our folks. I thought you needed a warehouse, but maybe not. Uh, for our folks, and provide them with sampa, a flour made from barley. Use a mill to turn barley from barley fields to sampa. Sampa, as we all, uh, as with all other food, can be distributed from a food market. Okay, so go here, here. Um, okay, so do I just build that? Do I rotate? Can I rotate? Mm, I don't know how. You know what? Let's just quickly look at that, right? Uh, key bindings. We should be able to rotate stuff, no? Right, I guess not. I guess not. Uh, to there? What's this? Send to here. Ha ha! And that's how you do it. What, what's this other one? What is this? Hey? Oh, we don't need to. Oh, we just need barley. Okay, I, I see. I see. So this is for uh, barley, and the other one's for hay. And I'm guessing hay will go to the animals. Like the yaks. 
with three needs fulfilled, citizens are happy enough to upgrade their housing. You can do that by clicking a button above a house. Okay. Oh, I can just do that. Just do all eight. Sure, sure. I, I thought I had a lot of workforce that are unemployed. Yeah. 60 unemployed. Come on. Why are you telling me to upgrade them? Now? They're not working at all. They need to make their, their living, you know? Okay. Splendid. Looks like lowlanders are happy here. They will be a backbone of the settlement economy. Yeah, but artisans won't be satisfied so easily. They are used to a certain standard, you know? <laughs> this guy right here. <laughs> but if we want to progress, we'll need them for their manufacturing skills. I'm sure we can somehow make them comfortable to... You know what? Just enjoy that ambient noise, you know, in, in this game. Like, it's so relaxing, you know? And, and, and me, as a person who plays FPS games, sometimes I just need games like this. You know, just... Uh, lay back, relax. Look at her. That's 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 how I want to be right now. I'm sure we can somehow make them comfortable too. All right. That's copper right there, right? Looks, look. This seems a perfect place for an artisan district, if you ask me. Oh yeah. We can try, I guess. Oh, come on, this that, that guy needs a little bit more optimis uh, optimism, like the like the monk. Not not as much, but just a little bit, you know. All right. So, for connecting two regions on a similar height, use a bridge. You'll need to find a suitable spot on each side to place it. Alright, so, bridge. Let's just go here, to here, and then let's just make a road here to here. Yeah, yeah. Have 40 artisans living within range of a food market. Okay, so artisans after lowlanders are another social cast. They are helpful with running more advanced buildings. Okay, my question is, because I upgraded them, are there workers creating, like, workforce? Let me resume and then pause. No, nothing changed. Okay, so I... I thought it would be like Anno, um, where now that there are artisans, um, and then we took away the normal huts, that now you need to find replacements for those people because they upgraded themselves and they, they no longer want to do uh, that low labor or, you know. Okay, let's see. So, but it seems like it's still the same. Okay. So let's just, uh, do they want me to build another one? Oh, oh, okay. Jeez. Look at, look at all that talk I did when, when I could just do this. Great. All right. Let's just... Joined everything, huh? Let's just do that. Mm, no, let's. I like leaving some space. I know this is tutorial. I know, I know, I shouldn't be worrying about this, but it's just, it's just my habit. All right. Okay, so. Um, I wouldn't normally do it like this, but I like things to look a little bit cleaner, but what, what can I do? Just leave it that way. Okay, let's fulfill some artisan's needs. Provide them. Uh-huh, uh-huh, okay. Uh, provide them with food and access to enlightenment facilities, just like you did with the uh, with lowlanders. Note that artisans are harder to satisfy, so this won't be enough to upgrade their houses. Okay, sure, sure. Let's do one here. Is that like over enlightenment? <laughs> Is that what that means? The purple—they're over enlightened. They have. 
They have evolved into a higher being. Uh, okay. Um, so they also need food, right? So, producing three. Receiving six. Producing three. Okay, so I can just make more, right? Just um, yeah. Let's just make a very quick. Oops, oops. Just like that. Ah, son of a gun. <laughs> let's just finish this. Okay, I could just do that. Yeah, I could just do that. Great. So I did it right. I thought I could just bring some from here to here so then I don't have to do it again. But those other guys also needed work, so. The lowlanders. If this is a lowlanders, uh, the number of lowlanders required to run this building. Yeah, so see? Yeah. Alright. Technically, I'm not wrong. But I I'm pretty sure I can increase the production here. Production efficiency, right? Let's see. So, main like click this, or maybe I'm overthinking things. All right, let's just follow the tutorial, guys. Come on, let's stop getting distracted. Mountains are rich in natural resources. We can extract them using mines. Build a copper mine and connect it to the road system. Oh, easy, cool. Um. Yeah. Road system. God darn it. That's not on the road. Did I miss? There we go. Uh, besides human workforce, some buildings also require yaks to operate. Build a yak pasture to increase the town's yak population. Get some yaks to start copper production. Yeah. All right. This is what I call a yak. Yaktastic. Don't, don't judge me. Okay. So continue. With copper extraction up and running, we can use it to make utensils in the coppersmith workshop. Utensils are highly desired goods and... Do I need to do this? Nope. Do I need to do uh, like that? Okay, let me just... Oh, okay. See, I, that, this is why you need to read. Guys, don't jump ahead. Don't think you know everything. Utensils are highly desired goods, and goods are distributed to nearby houses from... Come. Come. Wow. Come. Wow, guys. Guys. Commodity suppliers. Like, why, why was I having trouble there? Regardless, have commodity suppliers with 40 artisans in range. So you're at 40. Okay, so I could just have it here, right? No better place to get some high quality goods. Literally, there is no other place. <laughs> okay, I like that. Uh, copper mine. Okay, so since I did a shortcut, that's what that is. So, copper smith. So, this is. Yes. Missing yak. Nope. Nope. That. Is that right? Oh, 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 okay, okay. Let me move it. What did I do? Yes. 
See, we're, we're all learning. Now Now I'm starting to mess up. All right. It's not letting me move it. Thought maybe because it's active, it won't let me, like, I would have to do it. Hmm. Destroy? Let's see if that breaks the game. Nope, okay. Sure. Like that. Like that. Okay, so let's go to maximum speed. Oh man, look at that this shit. Look at that. That's so cool. Am I doing this right? That that is my question. Am I doing this right? Producing none. So, I'm doing something wrong. This says it needs yak. I thought I made it. I can't click and hold to send anything. Um, I don't know what this means. You don't have enough workers in the city, so additional ones will be contracted, which is super expensive. Okay, so how do I fix that? Uh, not sure how to fix that. Alright, everybody. So, sorry about that. So, it just took me a little bit of time. Uh, I don't think I really needed to move this at all. I could have just left it there. It just needed me to create another Yak Pastor right over here um and then just send the materials over here um i also noticed that uh, i wasn't creating enough uh tans tans pop so i just created another barley field and i'm just sending it over here now it, the production is increased so that's that's how the production efficiency increases uh just by sending more right here all right, let's move on. So, okay, so continue. Uh, da, da, da. It seems that there aren't enough utensils for everyone. However, a coppersmith uses only one unit of copper. This means a single mine can supply multiple workshops. You can use a carrier post to divide the resource flow to multiple buildings. You may need to cancel existing resource flow to do so. Okay, so boom. Carrier post. The unofficial motto of the workplace. If you can carry it, it's not that far. Upkeep minus eight. Man, upkeep for everything. <laughs> of course. For lowlanders. Right. Um, let's just put it right next to it right here. Um, so that means I need to stop sending, bring it there, and then this place will send it to here, and then ba 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 ba. I would need to make. Oops, whoops. I keep missing. Uh, oh, there it is. Then I would need to make another one right here. So then bam, bam, and then bam, bam. Just like that. Continue, I say. Hey, I've got an idea. Let's expand higher. The climate in the middle zones of the mountains is just perfect for bees and producing honey. 
So this is so this green field is good for crops, hay, and then this sort of yellowish field over here is good for that kind of stuff. Okay. So da da shaft. Bam. Continue. The beekeeper is one of the buildings whose productivity depends on the mountain zone you place it in. It'll produce much more honey up here on the middle zone. Oh, okay, you see the color. Bright green, yellowish, like a mustard color, and then like, yeah, kind of brownish, yellow. So it'll produce much more honey up here on the middle zone. Have two operational beekeepers in the middle zone. Okay. Bam, bam, bam. Beekeepers. Let's have it close to the road. Continue. Your brilliant plan seems to have a flaw. Flaw, it's a perfect place for bees. You act like you got stung by one. Oh, open your eyes. How are we going to transport all this honey down? Relax. With the right attitude and open mind, we can overcome any obstacle. How exactly w will an open mind help us to transport anything? Oh, just you wait. Let's get my fellow monks here. They'll come up with a solution. This guy is just pushing off uh, uh, all responsibility to, like, other other people. <laughs> If he's like the boss, he's just pushing it down the chain. Hey, you figure it out. Hey, you, over there. Come up with an idea. Academy, how many monks are needed to figure out how to use a cart? Well, apparently a lot. Require workforce. 38 monks minus 80. Oh my god. The upkeep on everything. Like, I want to know how, how... Let's see... We're only surviving because of the assistance from the capital. Basically. Building upkeep minus 252. Jeez. Okay. Uh, do I have to build the academy up here? So you can increase research level of your town to gain access to more advanced buildings. This is by this is done by building scholarship facilities such as the academy. However, it will grant research only when staffed. So we also need monk dormitories. Okay, so let's <laughs> I can have this anywhere, right? Or does it have to? You know what? Let's let's first do dormitories, right? Uh, they want me to have um, the academy first, it seems. And then they'll tell me. Uh, let's just have it all the way to the right for now. And then this thing is 38. Research level one, you gain access to the cart post. It works like a carrier post, but isn't restricted by range. Therefore, it's perfect for long distance transportation. Use it to send honey down to your artisans and finally upgrade their houses. Have 10 artisan houses on level two. Okay. Do, do. Carts are not designed to transport teenage humans, or teenage yaks for that matter, <laughs> no matter how long they've been at the end. That's funny. Um, should I just have this up here? Like that? Does it matter? Um... 
sure. Is that right? Is that right? I just guessed. Ooh, look at that. <laughs> that is that is hilarious. Oh my gosh. Animal rights. Animal rights, everybody. Sound the alarm. <laughs> Alright, so these guys are good. So have ten uh, artisan houses on love what? This is costing me money. What do they want? Fulfill need of this type to upgrade. Food? Is that, what, what is this? Prosperity. How do you do prosperity? Maybe they'll tell me. Nicely done. We've done some decent groundwork here. We're now ready to continue with our quest and travel to the first real mountain. High enough first summit temple. No, I'm not done yet. I'm not done the tutorial. You can't do this to me. Not so fast. We still need a logistics point down here and more importantly a way to secure our financial situation. Oh, come on. Do we really need to deal with such trivial matters? We've got big bigger things to pursue. No, listen to this guy. Trivial. This whole endeavor is an ins insanely complex logistical operation which could end in disaster in the blink of, of an eye. We have to make sure the treasury checks out or that the end or it's the end of us. Okay, yeah. Donation spot. Yes, let's do that. And one over here. This will be a good spot for a trading post. It'll be easy to send resources further from here. Okay. Huh? What's that noise? Oh, avalanche. <laughs> yeah, I thought so. There's no way the tutorial would end like that. Alright, forget about it. We're all gonna die. <laughs> Relax, no one got hurt. Actually, this avalanche wasn't even that huge. I bet we can still have a training post in this region. You want to stop all this snow with the sheer power of your mind. Go ahead, I'll stay here and watch. Don't be stupid, we just need a few foresters to provide tree cover. That should do the trick. Alright, alright. So... Okay... Let me just read this, right, before I start clicking away. Basic way of blocking avalanches is to put trees in the way. We can do that using foresters. Foresters don't require road connection. That's great. To block more powerful avalanches later on, you'll need multiple rows of foresters and or other specialized buildings, like walls. You can make walls, probably, right? Um, okay, foresters right here. Okay, I did that. Of an operational training post. Sure, I shall. Let's do that. I feel like the clicking for the roads can be a little bit smoother, right? Like maybe us holding the mouse or... I don't know. I feel like click and click isn't always to my liking sometimes. Um, or at least the option to, to switch it. Just like how in some games you can change your controls. Like if you're on uh, on a controller, like to invert or, or whatnot, right? Okay, let's see. Have operating a train post fully protected from avalanches. I thought I did. Okay, so what they need... Yeah. Okay. So... And this needs... Missing workers. Lowlanders. Okay. So, let's get some Lowlanders. Uh, wait. Is that just in general, or... Can I just build more Lowlander over here?
Any effects over here? Yes. Okay, because I don't want to build another market or or whatever. Mm, let, let me not worry about that. Let me just finish the tutorial. Uh, basically, more yaks, right? So... I could just make it here, right? And then... Bam. That's a long way to travel for that one person. Like, oh, I have to go all the way here to work. <laughs> uh, all right, continue. Here it comes. Yeah. Hooray, it worked. The training post is safe. I told you from the very beginning, there is nothing to worry about. <laughs> you can't just think like that because there were people that came up with a solution. Alright, now we're finally ready to move on. Let's make our way to the first real mountain. Can't wait. <laughs> uh, I, I like the tutorial. Um, it did help a lot uh, for a beginner. Um, I feel like Ooh, a lot, of, a lot of things I don't know. I feel like the leaves usually represent beginner, so... Oh, good for a start. Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, jeez, look at that. Look at that. Solved it. Wizard over here. Um, so, yeah, that was a first look. So, I'll most likely be creating some more videos about this game. So, please, please, if you're interested... Go out to Steam and look for Leisara Summit Kingdom. Very great game. And so far, I'm really enjoying how, how it's looking, how it feels, right? I'm liking how <laughs> we can build a whole kingdom on a mountain. You can just go around it, like different sections, just like in Anno, how you have different islands, right? Uh, it, this seems to be a more miniaturized uh, version of Anno. Um, I really like it because in Anno I always get overwhelmed, um, but that's not bad either, right? I like challenges. Even though I'm really bad at these games, I always have fun. It's a nice, relaxing way um, when playing, right? And of course, you, you always have saves, right? So um, you can always save, go, maybe go back. I'm not really sure uh, as of now uh, how it can, uh, how many times it, it saves or but it seems to be every two minutes from what I see here. Um, but I only asked two. So maybe maybe that that's different when you're actually playing um, not the tutorial, right? Um, but maybe in the future it'll change. Who knows? Maybe, maybe they'll have uh, just like every other game where you can change it to save every five, ten minutes. Um, and, and depending on on what you change in the settings you can say oh i want 10 saves 15 20 30 saves that i can go back to right um i remember in stellaris they have that option so maybe they'll add that here who knows right uh it's all up to to the developers so far i'm loving the game loving the atmosphere the music is great um definitely have to turn down the volume it is very loud when you first load uh, load the game. Other than that, thank you for watching, and be ready to watch my next video. Thank you.